Wow, we want to try a lot of recipes in this book that came yesterday. Hey, Oopsies. It's good. It's really tasty. Okay, that's that enough, Everett. Cut that in half. That did pretty darn good. Good morning, friends. Hello. Little Miss got up at about 5.45 this morning. So we had an early morning. It is now about 6.55. I think she fell back asleep for maybe... 20 minutes. I did not go back to sleep, but I thought I'd bring you along today. Today's an at-home day. I haven't showed like a day in the life in a while, so let's get the kids off to school. Good morning, Everett. Let's try making some breakfast. Yep, I'm gonna make some breakfast. Hunter prepped lunches, plus some sandwiches and fruit. I mean, sandwiches. We gotta get those all packed up and get our day going, huh? Mama, cracked the Well, when I get to cracking the eggs, then you can help. You're welcome. Are you having a puff? You want a puff? In the Anchorage School District this year, I don't know, I probably already mentioned this, but maybe you missed it. They switched around all the schedules. It used to be high school started first, then middle school, then elementary school was the latest. They switched it all around and it's now elementary goes first, 8 a.m. and 8.45 is high school, 9.30 is middle school. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around it, but the first to go in the mornings now are Weston and Everett and Mark. So I'm used to having the bigger boys take off early in the morning, but now it's the younger boys. We're gonna go wake up Weston. Wanna go wake up Weston? Good job. You got the fridge? Probably not. I was gonna say mowing, but you didn't do it. I woke up 10 times today. Okay. Three. I don't know why, but my. I usually put them in a bin. I just thought, oh no. Okay, write, write these down. Practice. Three. T H R E E. Good morning, Miss Luna. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah. One good thing about being in the middle of sorting laundry is I can get Everett dressed from up here and don't have to go downstairs. My goal is by the time the boys come home to have all their laundry sorted so they can put it away. Okay, post. I think you chose this one because no stains. Love you. Have a good day. I love you. Have a good day. Have a good day. Round one done, now it's time for me and Violet to have breakfast and then the older boys will probably wander up here in the next few minutes. Sometimes they get up with us, sometimes they don't. This morning they didn't show up during first breakfast. <laughs> Ooh, it's a process. I always try and start my morning by filling up my water cup and get through this in the first couple hours. I'm coming, I'm coming. Got Violet's breakfast, my breakfast, my water. Ooh, baby girl is ready. Are you ready for some food? Overnight oats, strawberries and cream. Try this one out. Bennett and I have been sitting here, and Hunter, he was here as well, reading about the trick to making macarons. We love macarons, look how beautiful those are. Seems like 
They're pretty tricky, but possible. You know, this kind of walks you through it all. And we also, we want to try a lot of recipes in this book that came yesterday. Taste of Home, Ultimate Baking Cookbook, but this cranberry swirl loaf, but maybe do it with raspberries since we have so many raspberries right now. Yum, yum, yum. Where did mine go? I think she really likes it. I think so. All right, Hunter just left. Then it's getting ready to leave, and Violet is ready for a nap. She keeps rubbing her eyes. And then I get to get ready. Yay, she's eyeing your banana. I gave her the seed. No teeth yet. <laughs> she just like sucks it like a bottle. <laughs> is that tasty? She has not met a food she didn't like yet. Hmm. All right. All the boys are off to school. I'm going to take a minute. I don't do this every day, but I'm gonna compile my at-home to-do wish list for the day. Ah, oh, there's so many things I can get done. I do need to get ready and go work while Violet's sleeping as well. So I'm just gonna take a few minutes and kind of get my thoughts together for the day and then we'll get going. Alexa, turn off Lauren's light. Just a really quick get ready this morning because I'm gonna be home all day. And while Violet is napping, it's important that I get down and do a little bit of work. That's the one thing that is hard to do when she's awake. I can, you know, tidy up and get myself ready while she's awake, but work doesn't happen <laughs> very easily when she's awake. So let's go get some editing done. Nap time did not last very long. <laughs> you just never know. Sometimes you get it two hours, sometimes you get 30 minutes, and today it was about 30 minutes, huh? You ready for a bottle? Maybe Grandma will want to hang out with you so I can finish a little bit of editing. We'll try again for a good nap later, okay? Okay, Violet is having a bottle with Grandma, so maybe I can finish project. Oh, I have the hiccups. Violet just had the hiccups. She passed them on to me. I don't hear Violet. I wonder if she just like fell right back asleep after eating her bottle. But she was really mad when her bottle. She just knows she has to get up and so then she can get cuddled by grandma. Little stinker. Gives me a few more minutes to work. Finished one project. Maybe I can get one more moving in the right direction. I like to try and take a few minutes every day and answer comments on the YouTube channel. I used to be able to answer all my comments. Not possible anymore. I just don't have the time, but I do try and read as many as possible and then answer some of them because I do love interacting with our audience, but it just takes time and I don't have a lot of spare time, but I do know that it's an important part. I also go through the emails that people send back to me. If you're not on our email list, I'm back to sending my Monday emails, letting you know what's going on around here and kind of some behind the scenes or if I have any items that have like a good sale or we do a giveaway that's all done on the email list um, so I will put a link well the link is always in the description below but I'll make sure that it's near the top today so if you want to get on our email list I send out emails most Mondays I'm getting back into the groove of sending out my Monday email I think I've sent five four or five in a row now so that feels good to have that back and I always read through everybody's responses to those emails I don't have time to write back to everybody but I do enjoy reading through them so answer some comments one huge part of YouTube is a constant shuffle of video so that's one thing that I'm gonna finish doing as I'm waiting for a video to upload, I am going to take my SD card out of its GoPro and transfer the next video's footage onto my computer so that I can start editing it tomorrow. It's always nice to have it kind of ready to go when you're ready to sit down and edit. I won't have time to get it to it today, but while one thing's working in the background, 
I was trying to do something else. Always shuffling around videos. Videos take up a lot of room on computers too. I don't know if you realize like a normal computer would like hold like maybe one YouTube videos worth of footage, maybe like two or three, depending on how much you film. So I pretty much work off completely off of these external hard drives. They hold all the footage because after you do one video, your computer would be like, uh, 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 I can't work anymore. So yeah, constant like shuffle, like edit, get it off the computer, edit, get it off the computer. Cause you can't, you know, cause you have your video footage, then you have the edited file, then you have the final file. So those are a lot of things to be saving onto a, onto a computer. So anyways, that's what I'm up to now. I'm going to transfer this off and then I'll transfer other videos that I've posted to YouTube onto the external hard drive. Just a little peek into what it's like. You got to have a plan. So you may not know, but I had a crafting business. I used to sell things at that Revive Home Market that I often show. And I have friends ask like, oh, isn't it so much easier to just be a YouTuber? Like so much less stuff. My answer is always yes and no. Like I used to just have lots of craft supplies and have to keep track of inventory and stuff. Now I just deal with video inventory. I'm always shuffling things around. So yes, I don't have like a room full of supply, but I always got a computer full of video. Just different, both are good. I do prefer being a YouTuber though. I enjoy this a lot because I love the people that um, we get to connect with through YouTube. So anyways, it's about 1130. Noon is probably the end of my work day. Got a few more minutes. Violet's still asleep, but I'm getting hungry and yep, this is about all the time I have. Two hours every couple days. <laughs> it's not an everyday thing. I don't get to come in here every day, but today I do. I've gotten a lot done. That's a win. One of my goals while my parents were still here was to just get some doctor's appointments out of the way and things. So I did go see my primary doctor, which was good because I, the last time I saw her was before I got pregnant with the twins. And um, so there was a lot to unpack there, but um, got all my blood work done, an appointment for a thyroid ultrasound. I have had viewers in the past be concerned about my thyroid. It is slightly enlarged and puffy, but all my blood work comes back good. I got my ultrasound, nothing had changed, everything is good. So thankfully for now, my thyroid is fine. Those numbers were fine. I'm obviously a bit overweight and had not cared one bit about my eating for the last year, if I'm being honest, like eat whatever came across my plate. So I'm working on more protein, more fiber. I still am eating carbs. Nothing is off limit, but just trying to get my protein and fiber up and then um, less carbs if I don't need them. I got Bennett bacon all the time, so I don't have to bake. So that's kind of nice to not have to bake, but I, I will still taste whatever he makes. I will not miss out on that fun. Um, I'm at a place where I feel like I can still uh, do that. So just trying to make sure I'm dialing in my eating. I want to be a healthy, happy mom for these amazing kids. So that's where we're at. I'm going to make some of these chicken sausages, find some sort of veggie, get some lunch in because I'm hungry and this counter is sticky. So hopefully we'll get around to cleaning the kitchen next, but I'm sure I only have a few minutes before Violet wakes up. You may have seen me taking my vitamins this morning. That was one thing that showed up on my um, blood work. My vitamin D was extremely low. Hello, living in Alaska, we don't get much sunlight. So I've been trying really hard to take my vitamins every day and some other just supplements to just help my stress and mood. And I think they're helping for the most part. I'm feeling really good. It just feels good to have a little bit more control of what's going in and be making a little bit more conscious choices. So vitamin D. I was like, maybe that's why I was feeling like extra, extra tired on top of having a newborn. <laughs> my vitamin D was really low and a few other things. So started taking my multivitamin again. Anyways, now I'm just rambling, but good to take care of ourselves as moms. At the end of my cottage cheese. So I'm just gonna make my eggs right in here, scramble them.
Lunch is served. Probably have an apple or a nectarine too, if I'm still hungry. Just went and checked. Somehow Violet is still napping. I'm gonna deal with these bananas here. Sometimes bananas just go bad a lot faster than you're expecting. Any of them that are still semi-hard and don't have like really soft spots, I'm going to put into the freezer for smoothies because I have a smoothie almost every morning. Not every morning, but most mornings. And then the rest, I'm just gonna put straight into the freezer just like this. And then I use them for banana cake most of the time. Sometimes banana bread, but I think these ones are really, really have some soft spots. So don't love those for smoothies because they get stuck together. These ones are going in the freezer. So we'll make a good double batch of banana cake. And then we're gonna bag these ones up. Found these bagels in the freezer. I'm gonna get them out for breakfast tomorrow. got to keep a load of laundry going through or two or three or four and then my goal is to get all of it sorted I think I mentioned that already I haven't got to the laundry yet today it's still my goal are you even a boy mom if you don't find things like screws in the laundry So my real laundry goal is to have each boy just have only their clothes in one basket. They bring it up, they start their laundry, I move it through the dryer, and then I hand it to them when they come home from school and they go put it away. That's always the goal, but <laughs> somehow we always get a few baskets that then end up like a mixture of everything. So then I feel like I gotta sort everything and then I give them to them and they go put them away. So they still are doing that and they're still bringing them up, but I would really just like to do like two loads a day, put them through and send them back to the kids. That's the goal. We're gonna get there. I don't know if it's you can really tell. It is just pouring rain outside. Yes, I hear Luna. Oh, yeah, you need to tell us about the rain. She's like, who are you talking to, Mom? She was over here sleeping in this tree. This has become her latest little napping location. <laughs> but she's gonna come supervise my laundry. Okay, Bennett gets a gold star. His basket was completely his clothes. I do have a pair of sweatpants that have holes in the bum. So those ones are going in the trash. Those were his summer sweatpants. They are now going to be retired because I found him the most awesome uh, Puma sweatpants yesterday at Costco. He tried them on and they're fleece and they're amazing. And they were, you know, like 20 bucks, which men's pants can get really expensive, like joggers and stuff. So anyways, these are going in the trash. And then I ordered something. This shirt is very stained. I'm gonna try something that I got influenced on Instagram. A lady that I follow recommended this. So we're gonna try it. So I've got this for like when you have stains and before you've washed stuff. But this is supposed to remove stuff even after you've put it through the dryer. That is the difference. Hoping some of these stains will come out of this shirt. Okay, hopefully this will give this shirt a little bit more life. I'll let it set and put it in with the next load. It smells kind of like orange, orangey, even out of the dryer, so I'll let you know if I like it. The lady that I was influenced by swears by it. She gets this bottle and then she buys the whole gallon refill. She loves it so much. You know, when you got a lot of kids, I totally understand. You miss stains and you put them in and they come out of the dryer and then you feel like you can never get them out again. So I will check back and let you know what I think.
Baby girl woke up in time to help me put away the laundry. Yeah. She had the best nap of her life. I don't know. She's gonna have some big adjusting to do when grandma leaves because grandma's lap is her favorite nap spot. Huh? Huh? I bet you're hungry. You getting hungry? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay, baby girl has run out of diapers. We're gonna take care of that in her bedroom. I think this is probably the last package of size one diapers we're gonna use and then she's gonna move up. She was so tiny for so long, but she is growing, growing, growing now. And while we're at it, gonna restock her wipes because I noticed those were low too. You wanna play with the diaper box, maybe? She's at that age where everything really is a toy at this point, so. I really love this wipes case. It makes getting a wipe a one-handed job. It's not attached to anything. It doesn't warm them up or anything, but you know, in the middle of the night when you're trying to like, you make all this noise and you're trying to get a wipe out with one hand and it's like impossible. Well, this weighted piece makes it so the rest of the wipes stay down and you could just pull one at a time and this is like, locks in place. Love it, love it, love it. I feel like I need to do a video really soon while I'm still using all this newborn stuff because we're starting to transition out of things, but of things that I loved or didn't use, but or thought I was gonna use or thought I was gonna love or things, new things and things that are tried and true things that I've used with all five kids. I think we need to do a list of those for people to have suggestions for like, if you have a baby shower to go to or you're having grandbabies or yourself are having more kids, I think I need to share my stuff. Cause we have a lot of things we love, don't we, Miss Violet Girl? Hi, Luna. Oopsies. Kind of hard to believe, but I have about 10 minutes before the younger two boys come home from school. So I'd like to try and see how much of this I can get organized and put away in that time. So you want to jump? You want to do some jumping? Oh, you want the camera? So many things to look at. So many things to choose from, huh? One little pile at a time. Okay, at least I got them all sorted. And I have a putting away party later. This is my basket of stuff to put away. All the odds and ends. And everybody else gets to put away their laundry. But it feels so good to have it off the table and off the floor. And to have my boys home. We are really lucky for dinner tonight. I have been suffering with some migraines this week, and Mark mentioned that to a friend that was coming over to pick raspberries at our house, and they brought enchiladas with them for us to have for dinner tonight. So we get to cook up these enchiladas for dinner. This one has poblano peppers in the middle, so I'm really excited to try those. And then we've got some salsa, we'll cook some beans. They also brought us some rice. So we're gonna have a yummy dinner with very low effort tonight. And then I'm gonna also make a little treat with these uh, raspberries and some Greek yogurt and some cottage cheese. I tried it the other day, it was good. I made something similar the other day and just like trying it out, I wasn't sure. Like I put pineapple and raspberry, Greek yogurt. Kind of, we make this champagne salad and I was trying to make kind of like a knockoff version of it that was a bit healthier. And then um, Everett came and ate the whole thing almost. <laughs> so I knew it was good if Everett was gonna eat it and I had something yummy. So Jello. Just kind of been keeping this around to Add the things, I don't know. Add a little bit of pineapple. She rolling all around? Yeah. She rolled through the world there. Nana. Hard plastic. Yes. 
It's good. Really tasty. Peeling. Say, Peel I it. peeled it. I peeled it all by myself. Okay, you gotta cut those into fourths. I am. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers there. He do that I cost Crunchyroll phrase right now. I'm just testing out my concoction. How many miles did you run today? Uh, I don't know. Yes. Um, mm, I don't know. Ran for 40 minutes though. The whole letter stack? Yeah. Cut, wait a second. Watch. Don't cut me. Don't cut me. I'm gonna show you. Okay. Whoa. That's a. Uh, yeah. Cut that. Can I like, cut this? Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just cut it down the middle. And some. No. No. Don't push. Just slide. There you go. Freeze-dried cilantro. Okay, let's see if my stuff works. Kind of giving a whole pop on this shirt. Did pretty good. Maybe spray these again at the bottom next time, but I think it's wearable again. Was it not wearable? Not bad. It was just very stained. Violet and I are gonna go supervise the putting away of laundry. Make sure everybody stays on task. Then we'll do my two baskets that I'm gonna put away and she goes to bed. Please? Alexa, turn on back light. Here we go. That's your shirt. Collection of okay Pokemon guys cause to celebrate. All of the laundry baskets have been emptied before bed. Now we're doing our family scripture study and prayer so that uh, the littlest boys can head to bed and Miss Violet. Baby girl's turn to go to bed. <laughs> Love you. Thanks for hanging out with me today. All right, let's get her to bed. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, sweet girl. Well, friends, we've come full circle. I'm back here working on my to-do list, checking off a few things. Felt really good to be home and productive today. Spend time with baby girl and the family. Ah, sometimes it's just nice to be home, especially on a rainy day and get a few things done. Thank you so much for spending time with me. We're so grateful for each and every one of you. And I'll see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life.